While the battle against Ebola centers mostly on West Africa, part of the process begins thousands of kilometers away in China. CCTV's Ning Hong visits a factory where protective suits are made for the safety of medical workers in the Ebola zone. Production lines here are running out of full throttle. At this time, factory workers are taking extra caution making these yellow suits, checking each garment multiple times before they are packed and shipped off to West Africa. One tiny negligent flaw in any of them could be a matter of life and death for the wearer. So here we are in a factory in Weifang, and this is their products. Uh, it's a yellow suit and very light, all handmade here by ordinary workers. And uh, actually, uh, it is the most uh, widely adopted suits uh, for the protection against Ebola in the world right now. And here we are, we're joined by Kevin Jane of Lakeland. Uh, please tell us what is so special about this suit and why it's uh, widely used against uh, Ebola. Okay. Uh, first, the fabric of this fabric need to meet the requirements of uh, European or American standards on infectious uh, protection against infectious agents. Mm -hmm. So here is a sign for European standard uh, to uh, require requirements for protection against the uh, uh, biochemical or virus or blood or blood-borne uh, pathogen uh, requirements. Mm -hmm. Second, the construction of these seals need to be tape sealed. Mm -hmm. tape, so sealed tape, tape sealed. So just in case the, the virus or body fluids will pass through or seep through inside the garments. Mm -hmm. The factory built in 1996 is owned by Lakeland Industries, a U.S.-based company. It manufactures safety garments for the healthcare sector and other industries. Up until this year, it had a relatively low profile, but the outbreak of Ebola changed that. We we'll learn not all protective suits are created equal, and the standards vary according to different risk factors. We have different types. Uh, first, uh, depends on the working environment or applications. Uh, also, depends on the chemicals, uh, maybe exposed to the workers or wearers. According to the floor manager, workers are now working overtime occasionally to fulfill order demands. With the Ebola virus yet to come under full control, it looks like the production line here will be busy for some time to come. Ning Hong, CCTV, Anzhou.